Hey, what's going on there, my friends? It's Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. You already know what time it is. It's time to wake up with your boy this morning and my friend Tim. He's going to be our guest this morning. Uh, I actually met Tim, um, Tim Hewitt. I met Tim at uh, the Mastermind here recently. Some of you know that we put on Masterminds uh, here at Legendary when you come through the challenge and you uh, have an opportunity to look at our blueprints, uh, you'll have a chance to, you know, decide if you want to come to the mastermind as well. And then sometimes there are seats that individuals can buy later, but they sell out. And uh, Tim happened to be one of the people that was coming to the mastermind and uh, met him there and uh, got to know him over, over a few days, talked to him a bit at the end of the event and, uh, you know, woke up this morning and 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 opened up my Slack to see that Tim was going to be the guest on the Wake Up Legendary show this morning. That's exactly um, how we're being reunited, and it's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the show, my friend. <laughs> hey, Dave. How are you? Was, uh, last time we talked, we were standing by the pool in Orlando. That's right. That's right. We were standing in a in a. Not a bad, not a bad scene, not a bad uh, weekend. We actually had um, a lot of fun and uh, learned a lot. And, uh, you know, um, I guess you took home a few nuggets that we'll talk about and uh, unpack a little bit to see, you know, if they were helpful to you or not. Before we do that, just Absolutely. just just so people have an idea of um of who you are and, and, uh, what you, I mean, we'd be here all day. Takes me, takes me 15, takes me 15 to 30 minutes to just introduce myself or somebody else. And then it would take you 15 to 30 minutes to get through your actual resume of everything that you've done in life. So give us the, the nutshell version, but then I was reading your, um, your, your, uh, questionnaire that you submitted and, Tell us about the big problem that you ran into at 64. Um, sure. And, yep, and so. I, I, think, I, I don't think we talk about it enough. You know, I don't and, and, and I don't real I'm not really qualified to talk about it because I've not arrived there yet. But you have and you can tell us what that was like and everything. So, uh, yeah, welcome, Tim. And tell us a little bit about, you know, how you found us and uh, what you did before this. Sure. Thanks, Dave. So, yeah, so I'm 64 and I have been a professional engineer, engineering manager for 40 years. Um, went to college, got a great job, got a job that some people would consider a perfect job, good salary. Um, after 40 years and a divorce uh, and three kids, student loans, uh, at 64, I can't retire. It's just mm -hmm. that simple. Um, I've got enough debt that I'll have to work another 10 years at my current job. And maybe at that point I could retire. So I started looking around about a year ago uh, to see what could I do to supplement my income. I love my job, but I don't want to do it for 10 more years. Mm. Uh, and, and I had done some affiliate marketing before. I've been an Amazon affiliate since 2015. Mm. Um, I've done some other online things. I thought, you know, I'll take a look at this. And I'm a smart guy. So I got onto ClickBank. I signed up for a dozen products. I created a website, bought a bunch of ads, spent a thousand dollars, made made a seventy dollar commission, which promptly was taken back because the person returned the diet pills. Um, <laughs> so that was that was really not a very successful start. <clears throat> uh, that's a committed customer, you know, to, to take those, you know, how most of us, we get something and they were like, ah, screw it. But they took those back, got that label or whatever to, and then there went your commission. Bye-bye. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I know I'd already realized that, you know, you couldn't make any money on Amazon unless you did tens of thousands of sales a month. That was nuts. Um, so I wasn't going there, but I saw that there were people online making money and, and I followed a couple of them for a while, kind of watched their shtick. Um, I wasn't on TikTok. I didn't really know what TikTok was back then. Uh, you know, it's where 13-year-olds danced. Um, and, <laughs> uh, and finally, one of them mentioned your name. And so I started to do some research, did some digging. 
uh, found the article on Forbes, an entrepreneur, and went, hey, this guy's a real deal. Um, I, I went through her link, I watched your video, and I'll tell you what, the integrity that you came across with in that video sold me right there. Uh, I said, you know, this guy's the real deal, and, and I can learn something from him. Mm. Uh, the technical part of this is a slam dunk for me. Um, the marketing part of this is is way up here somewhere that I'm well, finally figuring out. Well, wow. At least you know your limitations. At least you know <clears throat> what you need to work on. Um, some of us need to work on the technical stuff and the marketing stuff. But, um, you know, knowing what you're good at and then just focusing on that. Like, for example, um, I've never been good at the technical stuff that that overwhelms me and it and it and it I have a hard time with comprehension, Tim. I mean, I'm somebody who was a great reader and started reading earlier than other kids, but didn't comprehend any of it because I'm so ADD and so forth. And so my creativity and marketing side, you know, that's all I can focus on. Because if I focus too much on getting bogged down in the software and the tools and stuff, um, I'll lose all my momentum. And so that's I know that about myself. That's why I say it's good to know what your strengths and weaknesses are because we always make sure here within our team at Legendary and then you know we hope that we hope and pray that I stay out of trouble when I'm on my own and don't get lost in some piece of software. But it's important as you're building your business to kind of know like what your strengths are and then just focus on that because you can lose a couple of days or a week or even become frustrated if you're going in and trying to overanalyze or perfect your funnel when it's good enough and you just need to work on creating content and or getting better. Even you who's good at technical, you need to get better in this area. Um, I always say focus on the content, not on the technical stuff anyways. But um, since you are good, you know, better at the technical stuff, what's it been like for you to get the hang of being in front of a camera, get the hang of this whole marketing thing? And I want to get to some of your takeaways from the event that made a difference here in the last couple of months for your last month. We just the event was just a month ago. But what was that transition like for you? I want to know if since, you know, a lot of people what what is getting in front of the camera? What is marketing been like for you learning that 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 new skill on new platforms? Talk to as a 64 year old. Who, by the way, does it? Who, who could be paralyzed with fear right now, uh, folks? We can react to the anxieties in our life by either, you know, freezing up or taking action. So you also have that that you're you're dealing with. So tell us what it's been like to kind of work on this part of the business that is not particularly your strength. That's a great question. You know, as usual. Uh, you know, one of the reasons I love talking with you, Dave, is you have insight that, you know, is just, it's so fresh. So I have been speaking in front of audiences my whole career. I've spoken to 5,000 people. I used to sing on stage many years ago. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. In and your fiance is a singer. I, I watched a video of hers as well. So, <laughs> you know, uh, we'll, we'll get, yeah, we'll get to the music. Yeah, she is good. She is good. We'll get to the music here later, but c continue on. You are a... You are a man of many, many interests and many, you know, many skills. Yeah, I have ADD too. Uh, ADD too. <laughs> yeah, right. So, so again, the, the technical part of this was not a challenge for me. Um, and I made sure I didn't focus on it because it, it came easy and it would have been really easy to just keep retuning and retuning and retuning all the technology stuff. And, yes. and I knew I couldn't do that. Um, tweaking so, the funnel, tuning the funnel. Let's go hang out in click funnels and where exactly. we, yeah, where nothing happens. It's nice and safe. And maybe I can feel accomplished because I got it set up, but nothing, I'm not running my business by, I'm not making money in my restaurant by just fumbling around in the freezer all day, reorganizing yeah. my vegetables. So um, from, from a video perspective, 
I'm really comfortable with a long form. I've got a bunch of long form training type videos on YouTube and Facebook, which nobody watches, but I've made them anyway, and I'll keep doing that. The short form stuff was completely foreign to me. Um, I, in fact, when I got on TikTok, I started with a business account because I knew I wanted to take some ads out. Uh, I've been running ads to sell eBooks since 2015. I'm comfortable with the ad platforms. I knew I would do that. So I took a business account out. And one of the very first things they said is, you can run 10 minute videos. And I thought, great, I can do 10 minute videos. Those are easy. Yeah, don't do them. Those are awful. Nobody watches them. They get zero views. It's not what the platform's for. You talking about TikTok um, on, on TikTok? Yeah, on TikTok. Yeah. My best videos on TikTok are less than 10 seconds. Those get the most views. And what do you do in a 10 second video to try to get their attention? Um, that was the hardest thing for me to do. How do you grab them and, and get in and out with a message you want to give them? And yeah. so I'm a little bit authoritarian in that regard, but I think it's okay. It fits my personality. And, you know, you asked me about the mastermind and the takeaway there that really made a difference. I was two months into it. So I started legendary in March. Mm -hmm. So I had March and April before the mastermind. And frankly, I wasn't getting anywhere. Yeah. I was running ads and I was getting leads and, but I wasn't really doing much. And the problem was I wasn't being me. Mm -hmm. I was being somebody else. I didn't even know who it was. And yeah, and, and that revelation hit me during the mastermind. And I went, geez, <clears throat> changed my content, started being me, um, immediately went from 2,200 on, on TikTok to 9,000, um, created a second TikTok account because of what Andrea was talking about at the mastermind. Uh, mm -hmm. That's already at 8,200 after three weeks. Um, and it's all from making content that's me. It's, it's, yeah. it's real. It's honest. Um, it, it shows who I am. It talks about me and my story, says things the way I want to say them. Um, yeah. but don't try to be anybody else. And that's working. I'm getting both organic and paid leads. Uh, and I'm up to about 800 leads now. You know what we can, you know, um, why I love social media and the internet is because I get immediate feedback. So, my personality in the way that I talk and communicate, it would take me, <clears throat> how many, how many people do you think have just been exposed, had a chance to see your video in the past two, a video from you on the internet in the last two months? How many people roughly just take a wild guess? Like, I don't know, just. Yeah, I, I know, I've, I've got one video with a half million views, but most of my videos okay. yeah okay most Let's of them are, are running in the five or seven hundred range okay so but you got one with a half a million let's just let's just call it 250. let's just say that let's just say 250 of those people were just not even looking at their phone here's my point okay in order for me to get feedback from 250,000 people about my communication style and about how I'm delivering and whether people like it, they resonate with it, whether I'm winning friends or influencing people, it would take me years to interact with 250,000 people for them to have a chance for, to, for them to listen and me do the talking. So the internet, folks, here's the beauty of the internet, that within a month or two, Tim can have 250,000 people giving him feedback about his content, what he's talking about, his communication style. And and, and Tim, I'm sorry, I, I, I just got to go off on, into an alley here real quick. It's going to get dark for a second. Some of us complain that, that, that we get negative comments and stuff and, and that people are... We're afraid of rejection. They are giving us feedback in that the human beings are teaching and telling and letting us know what they want and what they don't. It's the it's the easiest money you've ever made. It's the quickest way to improve and grow your skills. Nobody had this. Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, all those people back in the day, they could not... 
give you a skill and say, here's 250,000 people that you can try it on for free. Oh, so true. It's, Tim, I just can't. I love you, Dave. <laughs> So, you it's, know, the raw emotion that comes out of you sometimes, is, it's just so inspiring. I'm sorry. I, it's, I love it. I just can't. I, I just get so fired up and furious and frustrated because my dear friends, the folks who I like, I, and, and I, I want people to succeed. I want to succeed too. And it's just, it's all in how we look at it. It's nothing else besides how we choose to see it. And I'm just listening to your story and what you had an opportunity to do. And the, in the fact that you got that feedback and you even were aware, okay, long form, I can do that. It's kind of like the self-awareness of social awareness, people. It's like when you go into a party, this is the, the this is the marketplace we're dealing with nowadays. If you go into a party and try to hold somebody hostage and tell them a 10 minute story, most people are going to try to get away from you. But if you come in the party and you bada boom bada bang, 15 second joke here, 15 second joke, boom 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 to the bathroom, little dancy dancy. You're the guy, you're the man, right? Cuz so That's true. how people want to interact with each other, especially when they first get to know you. So I, I, you know, what comes up for you as I talk about like this, I'm talking about the instantaneous feedback that we have nowadays and the fact that you don't have to wait. You don't have to sit in a classroom. You don't have to go to an internship. You don't have to do anything to find out exactly what the market wants and exactly what the market will buy right now what comes up for you as i'm i'm ranting about this you know it's the short form video and it's so effective um uh, if you pay attention to the first few days of a TikTok video that'll tell you whether or not the video resonates uh you know if, if it's getting five six seven eight views over three or four days don't do that one again Right. Um, so you know, look at that stuff that's hitting, hitting a couple hundred views within a week. I mean, if I had 250, 300 views on every video, I'd be very happy, frankly. Um, right. you know, let's face it. Shoot. I don't, I don't do multiple takes. Um, I'm feeding three TikTok channels. Now I just started a third one this morning doing three videos a day. I do one take on each one. I do three variations of the same story. I post them on each one, just a slightly different. Um, how long does that take? It takes me 10 minutes to shoot nine videos. And then mm -hmm. I actually edit them offline cause I can't use the TikTok editor cause I can't see the dang thing. Um, so, that, so that takes me a little bit longer. Um, I spend another 10 you, minutes talk, you, should talk, you should talk about that more, Tim. That's just some funny <laughs> ass shit, you know? God. You know I, I drop them in the drafts. I post them tomorrow. Um, three times spread out during the day. It's a simple process. Literally it's the people who say they can't post three videos a day. I just think, you know, what are you thinking? Just hold you the camera just, up, say a few words and post the thing. I know you should talk. You, the, the message is look, I'm doing this and I can barely use the app. I can't I even see it. I can't even see it. <laughs> My eyes don't work anymore. People say you can edit on TikTok. I went, no, I, no, you can't. No, can't. No, there's no editing function there. Sorry. No, 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 no. You can. You can. <laughs> I struggle. That's that's a challenge for these eyes. No, I yeah, get, yeah. I get it. You, you, but when there's a will, there's a way, right? There's, a, and you know what we find out also, Tim, that who gives a damn about all the fancy edits and all this kind of stuff? The oohs, oh, the ahs, care. the ums, all this kid. Nobody cares. Here. Nobody you know, cares. You know, in your video, that video that you just posted today, it only lives for a little while. It's not like, you know, it's not it's not going up on the wall someplace for people to look at and critique for a hundred years. Bang, you're done. Do another one tomorrow. So, you know, that's to me, that's nine videos every day for those three channels. It's, people it's are, are, are here's the other here's the other thing, Tim. Oh. Like 
you're you're 64. You're you got to be thinking, hey, I mean, when I'm gone, what's what you've got to have had this thought. I'm when I'm gone, all oh, all this stuff that I'm doing, my kids, my grandkids are going to see. No, they're not. Because you know what? You can delete your account at any time. You can make a million dollars online and completely vanish. It's just, Tim, there are options are up. Not to say that you'd want to do that or that you that that's why not. I'm just saying that every excuse I yeah. like to obliterate. And don't you remember at the mastermind? I was like, let's just stay here. Let's stay here and sit in this room until every single excuse that you might have is up out of you. And I don't care. I'll take it. You can all any objection you have, anything that you come up with. I'm not going to run away from it because I'm not your guru. I'm just you bring it up. Let's talk about it and see if it's real or if it's just dominating because we keep it when it when we keep them inside. The reason why I try to get people to say their fear and say what's dominating and get limiting beliefs out because they're small when you sit them in a chair. It's just a little tiny little thing. But in our head, it's so big we make it up to be so big. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. There's so much self-sabotage going on for things that are not interesting. They're just not interesting. You know, that little exercise we did where we, we all did the breakthrough video, right? Everybody made a video. Some people had never videoed themselves before. I can't believe that. And there's right. like they were terrified of that process. And unfortunately, right. some of them have left the mastermind and they're still there. They've fallen right back into that same sure. condition again. And, you know, you just you just have to move forward. Don't be afraid of it. I. You know, I like to help people. I've, I've been helping people my whole career. I've been, my career has been in IT, solving other people's problems. And I solve big money problems, but other people's problems. And, and I've really enjoyed interacting with the legendary community and helping people get through some of their problems. And a few people have reached out to me personally, um, had some Zoom calls. I've had some other calls with people helping them get over some of their fears. And I see this all the time. And I know you guys see it internally, but it's like, yeah, you know, I created a channel. I posted a couple of videos and nothing happened. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Post some more. Keep right. going. You know, how come you're not doing three a day? What are you doing instead? You don't have any ideas? Come on, let's talk about ideas. I mean, it's, yeah. you just have to move. You're not going to get anywhere if you just sit. I agree, Tim. I agree. And, and it's 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 your own it 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 boggles my mind because it's your own life it's our own life that we're sitting there doing nothing and getting nothing out of and the beautiful thing is that you could do as much as you want you could take so much action people would want to arrest you you were taking too much action i mean but most of us are not nearly near that point of taking action i mean when you're running around town just 24 7 you're like i'm just taking so much action it, it, most of us you got to peel our asses up off the couch to get us to take action and you're right the 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 thing of coming to an event coming to a mastermind um or raising your hand and getting on a call with somebody when you've not done anything is another thing that I love you all. And I am going to embrace you all and work with you and be patient. And you know me, I'm here for the long haul. But if you're going to come to a mastermind that's about marketing, do some damn marketing, even if it's wrong before you come to the event, because that's the difference be between the people who succeed and the people who fail, plain and simple. Go through some of the training before you come to the event. You know, I was really, truly flabbergasted at the mastermind when so many people had not gone through the training, had not gone through the the, the actual blueprint. And that, and and that folks, a, that was a shock. You know, folks, and 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 then and then we all have the audacity, we all have the guts, the cojones to rate. You know, we'll raise our hands and we'll say, "Well, I, you know, where do I get started?" Well, it's like, come on, you get started by watching something that you just bought. This is not you got a microwave mentality with, but you have a you have a T-bone steak appetite, man. 
but your yeah, mind go is. Go to know? the video that says start here. <laughs> right, 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 right. Exactly. And, and I'm not here to shame anybody. I don't want anybody to feel bad about themselves, feel like they did anything wrong. Okay, I get it. Sometimes we need to learn how to take action. Okay, we're t we're showing you. We're teaching you here every day. We're not just talking about it. I'm doing it. I'm showing up every day, five days a week. I'm here doing it. Th th there's no better example. Look around the the, the community. People are, are doing it. So the initiative piece, Tim, is the piece that I I you know personally have a challenge with because I it's like you got how do you teach initiative and it's something that in this industry it's mandatory that you have initiative that you take initiative that you don't wait to get on the call with Tim your friendly marketing buddy slash volunteer mentor who's not even charging you and we're probably to, you know I mean at least right now Right. And it's like, yeah, it's, like not charging yet. <laughs> it's like, it's like, well, right. Get those testimonials up and, and, and at people ask people for testimonials. Right. Tim, ask them yes, to shoot you. a bit. Absolutely. That's what you need to get. That's what you get. Because here and here's where I've come to, because we teach selling information. So, of course, I'm teaching and I'm selling information here. But at a certain point in your career, you got to detach from what people do with the information because it's not just here in this business. I found Tim that people will not do. It's also in university and college and everywhere else. People have that sort of an entitlement versus an initiative attitude. And it's mandatory that we have initiative. Um, but it's so much easier. It's here's a dirty little secret. I want I don't want the whole internet to hear me. It's so easy to succeed though, Tim, because most people aren't willing to even take any initiative. And I love people. I don't hate people. I love people. I'm not trying to bash people. I'm just saying that most of us won't take initiative to even go through a course that we bought, which means that if you are willing to go through it and learn it and actually apply it, why do you think they call it the 1%? Here's another dirty little secret. It's less than 1%. It's the 1% of the 1% who really crush it because they're willing to do the work. It's not that they were born with any magical superpowers. It's not that they have any unique advantages. It's just they were willing to do the work and our society now is not teaching work ethic, Tim, but it's something that even as a millennial, so I can speak to younger people, you must, must, must not forget the all important work ethic and the initiative versus entitlement. What are your thoughts on this and what are you seeing out? You now you, you touched on it. That's what got me down this path. But what can we do about it with somebody who's used to maybe taking orders from a boss or sitting in a classroom or whatever? How do we how do these people change? How do they go from that employee to that entrepreneur? What tips are you giving people out there, Tim? That's a great question. So part of the answer there comes in my mailing list. So one of the one of the things that I think is so valuable about the process that we're using is the fact that. Well, when they come through my opt-in page, I now have them in my mailing list and I can continue to encourage them and instruct them to get off their butt and do what they bought um, or what they've looked at. And, and some of them need a little pushing, frankly. Um, and I, I told the story about how I went through this training. So when I bought the, the challenge, I did it in five days. My biggest frustration was the fact that I couldn't get to my advisor fast enough. I didn't schedule the call early. So I tell people on my mailing list, hey, first day, schedule your call. Schedule the call with your, with your business advisor. Don't wait. You know, get through this thing now because the gold is at the end of this rainbow. It's not It's not sitting on your couch. Then I, I went through blueprints immediately after, just in time for a decade in a day. Um, after a decade in a day, I went ahead and deployed the done-for-you funnel for the ultimate small shop brought all the Ted's woodworking stuff into it. That's about 80 emails 
uh, half a dozen different products and that paid for blueprints. Yeah. I ran that hard for eight weeks, um, but just the done for you stuff. I didn't do anything else. I ran some ads to push it, but that completely paid for blueprints. Then I started focusing hard on legendary, um, went to the mastermind, found my aha moment. Uh, and, and actually, I, I didn't say this at the beginning. I'm in Malaysia right now. Um, you know, I live in North Carolina, but I'm here on business with my nine to five job. And my side hustle job, my working out of my my cell phone at my laptop, got me my first big commission while I was here. Uh, yeah. It works. I mean, this is yeah. exactly what I wanted, is the ability to get out from under that nine to five, travel. Um, I've, I've lived all over the world. I want to continue to do that uh, and have enough income. Uh, at some day, I'm not there yet. Uh, you know, it takes work. It's not... You know, people think that you can wave a magic wand and make a lot of money in this business. Not true. You have to work. We've got great training. It's unbelievable how much information is in that legendary back office. Um, mm -hmm. I've gone through almost all of it, including the 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 old the the Thursday sessions going back three years, um, wow. and I've absorbed as much as I can. But you know what? I have to go through it again. There's so much in there that's of incredible value. And I'm not talking about the mechanics. I get the mechanics. I can do the mechanics in my sleep. I just, for fun, I put up all of the done for you, all nine of the done for you funnels. I put them up on Saturday after decade and a day. One day I was done. Um, I didn't run them all, but I wanted to see how they were built. That was part of me, the right. engineer part of me that had to see how they were working. The big right. issue for me, again, has been the marketing piece. How do I get my message out there in a way that people absorb it? Uh, and and I think I'm getting close. Um, yeah. I'm getting great feedback now, not just the, hey, what's this crap negative stuff, but some really, really positive feedback. And I'm very excited about it. I'm so excited about the journey. I have to bite my tongue and not tell people all the time because I want to drag them all along with me. You know, I see people in the elevator and say, hey, come on. I found this really cool thing. Let's go. And, uh -huh. you know, I'm not, nah, don't do that. But, <clears throat> no, it's it's it really is um, very exciting when you first get started, you first find this because you kind of say, where the hell was this my whole life? You know, yeah. where was this the past 5, 10, 15 years? And um, and another thing is I want to look into the future with you here for a second, just in your own personal life. I know you have dreams and aspirations of doing things. Uh, we talked about this at the mastermind one-on-one -on -one, and then we also i read your questionnaire about uh you have aspirations of of doing stuff in the music business and um, helping artists get paid for their their work and find better connections and have better skills and tools and stuff like that and if that you know if you if you move on obviously you're a you're a serial entrepreneur and not and i'm not talking about fruit loops i'm talking about multiple things but the challenge with us serial guys is that you know we start things and then we don't finish them and then we're all spread out and then you know nothing yeah, we never yeah. give, give ever we never give anything the time for it to become great and big right and and that's one thing that i'm you know each one of my projects has started as a small little seed that was as small as each one of your seeds, including legendary. Um, and it was that consistency over the years and sticking with it. But I would offer to you and anyone else who's in your whatever, those later years feeling like you don't have enough money to retire or whatever, but you then still have other aspirations of doing other things. I I have seen with, with folks in this industry and other industries, digital entrepreneurs, where this becomes a, a an income source that's so so powerful and so unstoppable, meaning that it you know this is not a one and done. The beautiful thing about internet marketing is you build your email list, you build all these audiences, and you can continue to sell to them over and over and over and over again. And if you stick with it, some of you folks that, that are older, that do have life experience, that really can offer a lot of value to the world. 
somebody like Tim, somebody like the rest of you who are in your 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s, even 90s, right? And you're sitting here and you're and you're going, man, you know, is this really going to be enough? Oh, it can. It, it could be way more than what you even think it can, both in terms of income and fulfillment, that all these other additional businesses and projects that you think you want to do right now may become more may become more nonprofit or charity type stuff that you're that you're actually able to be of service because now money's not such an issue right you don't I go to that day I get, I, i'm absolutely on the same page with you dave it's yeah I this, see can this, be it. this can be it to where there's nothing else that you need to make money with in everything else, including this business itself, can be the enjoyable, fun uh, activities that you're looking for that you want in those in that phase of your life. That's my belief, and I've seen it come true in other people's lives. Well, I'm I'm having a ball with this, and. It, my kids are laughing at me, you know, it's like dad's on TikTok, you know, what the heck's dad doing on TikTok? Well, I'm not dancing like little girls, but you know, I might, I might do that soon. You know, I might, we'll see. <laughs> you're going to dance like an old, old little boy is what you're going to dance. <laughs> it, it, not like little girls. You'll be dancing. You'll be dancing. Well, no, you'll, be, you'll, you'll be, so, you, Tim, you're going to be successful enough. Here's what I promise for any of you, including you, Tim. You're going to be successful enough. You're not going to give a shit. I'm telling you, all of us care about what other people think because we feel dependent on them. And it's because of one thing. It's because of money. Money. It sucks. It's stupid. So you got to get financially free. Absolutely where you right. don't give a shit. That's a professional technical term there. Don't give a shit to where, you know, you're just having fun. And I believe where you don't care, you're willing to fucking throw it. God bless it. Throw it. Just, have a, just do a, have a big old, just a bit. But you know what? You get to a point. I think we all deserve, deserve this freedom. You get to the point to where. You just you're doing what you want every second of the day. You're saying what you want and you're not willing to say some shit that you don't want to say just to make a buck. Screw that. You know, they, that's that was the, you know, the subtle message that I got to mastermind. Be me. Just be me. Uh, whatever that is, whatever day that is, whatever feeling that is of the day that I'm in. Quit trying mm -hmm. to do something that I'm not. Trying to be something that I'm not. It, it was. It sounds like a small thing, <laughs> but th to me, that was worth every penny and all the time spent to go to Orlando for those three days. That one little nugget. Well, um, what do you think I got when I went to Tony Robbins and sp spent fifteen thousand dollars on his date with Destiny Master University? All this. I mean, I I didn't buy it because I even wanted to go to any of it, Tim. I bought it because I wanted to buy a premium priced high ticket package from Tony Robbins and go stand on the stage with him. I went to one of the events. I think I bought like 10. We don't <laughs> always have to. We don't all, see it, this. That, that's the thing. We don't always have to buy something. And sometimes we think we know what we need from something. So we're sitting here and we're buying it. And and, and it's kind of like, let me, so I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you to teach me the whole, hold on a second. Cause I want to tell you how I want you to teach me here real quick. Hold no, that's not how, see, I don't know what I need. I don't right. know what I need. I don't know what I need. I need to get in the moment. I need to get there. I need to take my ass there. And I need to show up, suit up and show up. And you know what? Some magical shit will happen that I never even expected to happen. And that's exactly what you just described, Tim. Yeah. Well, that's that's exactly the what magic of life. That's the magic of this journey and, and simply taking the fucking 
initiative in showing up. You walk away with such a simple, way more simple than you thought, right? The breakthrough would be. Absolutely. And, you know, I see marketing opportunities now, video opportunities, I should say, everywhere, everywhere. I stop I stop my car and take a 15 second video because, hey, this is a really mm-hmm. cool spot. I can give this message here. Hey, I just had this idea. Uh, rather than write it down, you know, I'm not going to write it down. I'm just going to do it right here, right now. I, yeah. I was in a food court the other day. Again, I'm in Malaysia right now. I was in a food court. It's 10 o'clock at night. These lights are all over the place. I thought, God, this is a cool place. I shot videos. Um, yep, that's who I am now. I like that. That's who I am now. That's who I am now today. It's a transform. It's a total transformation. It's a, I, you know, the beautiful thing about life is, is, is that I can say I am whenever I want to, whatever I want. I can say that I am, I am now a digital marketer. This is who I am now. I just love that statement. What a powerful statement. Also, I love that you're just doing it. You're not writing it down. You're not saving it to your, you're not saving it to your folders. How many, how many of you have folders upon folders of ideas on TikTok and Instagram that you ain't never looked at? You got a save folder on Facebook. That shit's all broken down to all kinds of different categories. And just you, do and it. Look, look, but that, but that makes me feel like I'm doing something too, because I'm flicking my thumbs around and stuff like that, and I've got myself a little folder. But you, Tim, you, you are saying, "I'll never." You're being honest with yourself. You're saying, "I'll never get to that shit. I got to do it now, now, right here, where, here." When? Right here. Now. Right here. <laughs> right here, right now. There's no excuse. Like Josh, I mean, like Josh did at the event. We're going to yeah. shoot a TikTok. Everybody's like, you saw the people in their seats. Uh, when? Now. Where? Right here. I love that. <laughs> Get out Absolutely. your phone. And, you know, Josh completely took himself off his own presentation, right, and said, we're all going to do this right now because this is the right thing to do. Forget this my is presentation. Through that, we're just going to go do this. It right. This is a former athlete, a former college player who's, who's, you think his coaches were ever like, yeah, run a, run, ta- run 10 laps. Josh Smith, when? Next week, buddy. Get to it whenever you can. Now, asshole, get to running. <laughs> you know, it's like that's, so we don't have to be that extreme, but your your you know your your philosophy, your your plan, your 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 transformation, and and how you're following up with that. Because if I say I am something, you know, it's important that I follow it up with belief building behavior, right? It's important. It's important when you say you are. It reinforces what you think you are, and when you do it. It becomes you. There it is. Couldn't have said it simpler. You know, we, mm. we checked into a hotel in uh, in Kuala Lumpur a couple of weekends ago for a holiday, my fiance and I, and, and she took a little video going in, and I used that video. And I just I just made three TikToks out of that video, walking into a luxury hotel room where we were going to spend the weekend, basically saying, "Hey, look, you know, I'm here in this exotic hotel in Malacca, Malaysia. You could be here too, Kuala Lumpur." You know, well, and let me help yeah. you get here. And right. what? why not? Right. It's a perfect subject. People want to get out, want to do things instead of sitting on their couch, but they keep sitting on their couch. So, you know, my, my goal for the next uh, the next month or so is try to inspire people to actually do something. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be a little bit a little bit more forward, I think, in some of my videos here coming up. Um, see if I can't kick some people in the butt and get them to do something rather than just scroll by. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things, um, one of the things uh, I was, um, I was, I was, I was reading some of the comments there. Um, I was, I was, uh, I was, so, you know, um, 
if you are, Carl said, how do I get a thousand followers on TikTok? I've shot 50 plus videos and I'm only on 600. Carl, change the content up, man. Change, change the strategy, bro. You know, a lot of you, if you're, if you're shooting videos and your videos are, are, you know, you've, you're just, and I see this, I see this some, I see this occasionally where somebody's like, Hey, I have, you know, I've shot all these videos. And again, I, I don't know everything that Carl's been through or gone through training, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, but, uh, but Hey man, switch it up, change it up. You know what I mean? Um, if, if I keep, that's what I was talking about earlier in the show when I said that it is, it's impossible and always has been impossible to get a half a million people to give you feedback that fast about your, about your, your content about whether they like it, not they like you. This is not a, I'm wrong. I'm bad. I'm flawed. It's just what you're doing is not captivating their attention. you got to switch it up. You got to go back into the training, go back into the, 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 uh, go back into the, the TikTok section. If you're on TikTok, go back into the, the fishing funnel section in the blueprints in uh, Go back and absorb more of that. Maybe you're doing something. Maybe you missed the section where I said, don't mention all the products and company names because they're just going and researching it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe your content's too long. You know, maybe you're not doing it. Maybe you're not making short, short enough content as Tim's been talking about. Um, maybe you're not coming across um, confident enough. Right. One of the things that I really took away from your questionnaire that, that you wrote uh, before coming on the show was um, that we sent to you and we asked you to come on the show was that um, you said, I, I'm speaking with authority in my videos. And if I don't know something, I go and learn about it until I can speak with authority on it. That is such a big thing that you speak with authority. That doesn't mean you have to be loud or have a deep voice it has nothing to do with even the the it has nothing to do with with what you look like or sound like it has everything to do with the delivery style and the energy behind the delivery but tim you were the one who wrote it would you expound on that a little bit so folks could understand the importance of speaking on authority and the 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 likelihood of somebody actually engaging with you and following you and listening to you if you're not speaking on a topic with authority. Sure. But first, we have to define what does speaking with authority actually mean. What does it mean to you? Yeah. So it's, for me, it's pretty straightforward. So you know, I'm an engineer, um, and I've I've always had to research things so that when I do talk about something, I'm confident that what I'm saying is accurate, at least to the best of my ability. And so you know, when, when I'm talking about something in a short form video, you've got 10 seconds, you get 10 seconds. So you, you can't hem and haw and if and but, and, you know, you know, so it's, you know, it's, what did I just do? I just did one that said, we're in the worst, we're in the worst inflationary period we've seen in the last 40 years. We're on our way to recession. Believe me, we're on our way to recession. I have a recession proof business for you. Online marketing survives anywhere, anytime, any economy. Follow me, hit the link for more information, DM me, whatever. You, you have to hit them with a hook. You've got 10, 15 seconds to get out. So say it with confidence. And yeah. I, I don't care what the message is. Say it with confidence. You, yeah. Say it with confidence. As, as, as uh, Carolina says, Authority speaking with conviction, absolutely. absolutely saying what you mean, meaning what you say, but but you don't have to be mean when you say it, you know what I mean? Um, speaking also learning how to smile when I talk, I, I, I still have a challenge with that because I'm I've I was unhappy and miserable for many years of my life. So I've had to learn how to smile and actually become happy, <laughs> be happy. I wasn't happy for a long time. And, and then even to smile when I'm saying things so I can make other people, it's, it's, it, 
people remember so little of what you say and so much of how you say it and how they feel when they're listening to you, how you made them feel. And so that's why this confidence, this conviction, usually when you're speaking with authority, with conviction, some passion is coming out. You're getting excited. You're speaking about something that you're either passionate about or you know a lot about. And, and I will say that you can be passionate and speak with authority without knowing a lot about something if you just don't lie and be like, yo, I know so much about this. Just be like, yo, I'm on fire about this and I have no idea how it works. It doesn't even matter because I know just enough, you know, or if I'm doing dog training, look, I'm on fire about the, the this dog training program that I've got or that I'm promoting because it's so simple. I, I'm not I, I don't have to know everything. It's and you know what, Tim, that's what people want. They don't want you to be so freaking complicated and they damn sure don't want whatever you're talking about to be so complicated. Oh, Make no. it simple. Make it simple. And I would say that passion in terms of speaking with authority might even be as or more important as knowing everything or being knowledgeable. I just think that some of us, Tim, because, you know, we think we need to be something that we're not on video. We actually, it's hard to be passionate when you're not being yourself. So right. I'm, I'm trying to be somebody else and I'm not really having any feelings because yeah. I'm acting, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> that was me. That was me at the start. It and was me too. The, the mastermind, the mastermind pulled that out of me and said, quit being somebody else. And now I'm just yeah. me. And I am passionate and I'm passionate about a lot of things. And I'm trying to do things, trying to get that message across. And, you know, it's a little bit frustrating sometimes when, you know, people will comment on a video and then not do something. And so what did I do? I said, look, you guys are commenting on my videos, but none of you were doing anything. What's going on? Why aren't you doing this? It's not hard, but you have to start. And, you know, that gets me comments like, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh thanks, Tim. I'll start. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't mean to chastise well, them. But I, that passion's got to come out. Well, here's the other thing to remember about when you're trying to dial in your message. See, we'll get to the gold here at the end. I, I, you know, I don't want, I don't want everybody to hear all the gold, Tim. So I got to save some of it for the end. Um, do you, do you know the, the, one of the biggest breakthroughs that I ever had in terms of like trying to like clarify my message and, and really dial in my message was to really, really, really understand who I was talking about and how much they knew about what I was talking about. Like, what fate? Like, had had they ever even heard of it? Were they were they trying to get started? Were they already started? You know, were they a year or two into it? And what I found was that no matter whether they had never heard about it, whether they had heard about it and were getting started or they were already like had gotten into it, they hadn't considered themselves that they hadn't gotten started yet. So the common question and the number one thing that I focused and hit on in my messaging was how to get started, how to get started. Those words, here's how to get started. Here's where to get started. Want to know where to get started, right? Um, and 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 even like if you look at our, you know, if you look at the 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 headline that I came up with multiple years ago, um, you know, for anybody who wants to start a profitable online business but doesn't know where to begin, i.e., get started, right? And so a lot of us our content out on TikTok and our content on Facebook and our content on YouTube doesn't really connect because we're, we're talking over people's heads. We're talking, they, they actually, they look at us when we start talking about advanced stuff and they are intimidated and think that person's Absolutely. way ahead of me. And I don't want to be the one person in the back who's not, who's, who's just trying to get started. But really, the truth is, is that every like the majority of people 
who are following you, listening to you, and will ever buy anything from you are just looking to get started or they've already bought something and they still don't feel like they've gotten started. So that's, that's who you got to like, that's where the gold is. It's not, Hey, struggling affiliates. Hey, this and that, Hey, let me show you how to get fit 50 leads a day. All this kind of shit. Most people, most people who are going to buy from you, most people who are going to, that's, I guess the, the other really, really important detail about this. You might get comments from other marketers and you might get comments from other people in your industry on your content, if you're talking about more advanced strategies or you more know what you're talking about, you might get comments from people. But the the people who are are, 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 are will buy and who really just want to know where to get started and how to get started, that's your big buyer audience. That's your big buyer pool. And they won't buy from you. You ha- That's why no- here's, here's the big nugget. That's why knowing a lot of shit is not always good. And that's why the more that you know in this industry and the more that you learn, the more you have to focus on keeping it simple and talking to that person who's looking to get started and who just wants to know where and how. Does that make sense? So it absolutely makes sense. And that's actually the the difference between short form content and long form content for me. For me, the long form content is where I'm going to explain how to do something that's complicated. Somebody can watch it over and over again. They can utilize that training information, uh, but it's not a sales video. I'm no one's going to buy off that stuff. They're going to learn. They're not going to buy. The yeah. guys that are going to yeah. buy are going to take that. They're going to take that quick hit off that 15 second video. They're going to impulse. They're going to follow that link. They're going to watch that video. They're going to sign up. And, and about, I would say maybe a 30% of my content today is a start now content. And all of my DMs and comments, all of them are here's how to get started content. So the started word is very important in there. I absolutely agree. Um, and I got somebody who's same- cut. Keep talking, Tim. Keep talking. Just yeah. uh, give me, give me, give me two minutes. I'm going to grab this door. Not a problem. It's, it's part of my, my email autoresponder. Um, you know, I've got 40 plus emails that go out now uh, to people who have signed up to my list that have not purchased the 15 day challenge. And a lot of those messages are about getting started. You know, how do you get off the dime? Uh, you know, it's not scary. You know, take that first step. And, and I think that start the start message is incredibly important. Uh, yeah. And, you know, that you know, people talk about the six emails to get going well the commission that i just got the woman signed up for my mailing list in april she signed up to take the challenge in may she bought the blueprints in june yeah and all of that time she was getting emails from me off my autoresponder and if i'd have just sent six emails over six days she'd have never even signed up for the challenge and all of that was encouraging people to get going get started i'm here to help you reach out to me she did right he reached out to me. We had a great email conversation uh, about you know how this thing can be a benefit to her, and and I'm really glad. I'm just thrilled that she took those steps. Not because I got the commission, but because she needs this in her life to make her goals come true. Um, yeah. You know, again, 64 years old. I'm getting married again. I want to spend time with my new wife. My first grandchild is here. Yay. Haven't met him yet. I'm in Malaysia. He's in in uh, Massachusetts. Can't wait to get home and meet him. Um, mm. I have things so I need to do in my life other than work another 10 years for a big corporation. I hear you on that loud and clear. And uh, I, I'm going to enjoy being on the journey with you, my brother, over the next 10 years as you're traveling the world and uh, marketing and, and doing taking this to a, a whole new level. I'm, I'm really excited to see what you do with it and how you, you know, how you, how you craft and create it into your own thing and where you take it, Tim, it'll be real exciting to watch. And thanks for all your help and your um, support in our community. You know, Tim's often in there commenting and uh, really, really helping out. And I know that that may not be something that lasts forever. We're, we're just happy to have you in our community as you're, you know, at the, in the beginning here of your journey before you get too big. I love being part of the family and I feel like a family, quite frankly. Cool, man. 
Well, hey, uh, I'm sure you have other things to do over there in in, in Malaysia, uh, even if that's sleep or go hang out with your your fiance. So thanks for the time. Uh, an hour this morning with you. It's been a real pleasure, brother, and safe travels. And uh, we'll see you when you get back over here stateside. Thank you, Dave. I've enjoyed it very much. Thank you. All right, man. We'll talk to you later. All right, go follow Tim, everybody. He's got two two TikToks. We've had him up the majority of the time, all affiliate cash. And then his other one is Tim underscore Hewitt, and that's T-I-M underscore H-E-W-I-T-T, -T, Tim underscore Hewitt. Really, really a helpful guy and somebody who um, is, is uh, just really using, I've seen him use every opportunity here that he has to grow and learn. And it's not all about what he can take and get. And I've really noticed that about Tim. It's what can I give? And the interesting thing is, is that I know he's learning through that. He's learning through giving and serving and teaching. Um, and he's really taking that seriously. Like he's taking that to heart in every single one of you. I'd invite every single one of you to take a bit of Tim and put it in you. Um, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, uh, get a, we all need a little Tim in us. Um, just taking the initiative to serve first and you'll be amazed by what you get, how much you learn, how much you grow from serving and helping and teaching others. And then how that leads right into exactly what we're teaching here, which is simply how to deliver value out there to the marketplace. And you have this wonderful community right here at Legendary where you can start to test that and begin to be of service rather than just seeing what you can take. And, and it's just this beautiful transition as you go out and add value in your business and then people start to pay you more and more for that. So um, he's a, he's really somebody to to watch and follow in, in that respect. And uh, really, really appreciate his time on the show today. My friends, we'll be back again tomorrow for another episode. Uh, join us 10 a.m. Eastern time. We're here every day. You can text us at the number on the screen if you want to get a reminder uh, before we go live. Get in. And Tim just said it so perfectly and clearly today. Go through the training, <laughs> go through the training, and then apply and sit back and, 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 and allow the magic to happen. But you got to take the initiative. And he spelled that out really, really beautifully today. All right, my friends, we'll see you back for another episode tomorrow. Take care. Get out of here. Peace.